Hey there campers, welcome back and yet again, Mike Sampson here with another Travel Trailer walk around. That's right, today we're gonna to be talking about the 2024 Sunray 109. This guy is gonna come in super lightweight at 1320 unloaded. You're gonna have a nice gaucho couch where you're sleeping and then an awesome rear kitchen with a two-way refrigerator. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Right, campers we've been here and we're back again this time with the 2024 Sunray 109 this guy is gonna be 1320 unloaded have a dry hitch of 120 total length is 12 foot 8 foot wide and 7 6 in total height this will sleep too unless you get some crossbars and add a rooftop tent then you can get up to four on this uh, while still staying, staying super light you, on the front side here, you can see we're going to have a side-mounted AC, 110 outlets on the outside. Step to get inside. We are on the sports package, so you do have those big, aggressive mud tires. On the front there, you're going to see we have a 20-pound propane tank, a turbo jack, so that'll flip over, and you'll be able to use your uh, power drill to crank that up and down. Over in that corner there, we're going to have your battery disconnect switch so for when storing things like that you can turn that battery right off uh, but with the rooftop solar you shouldn't have to do that too much if you're out there using it on the back side here you're going to see up in that front corner will be your pass-through storage in the middle is your outside shower in between that will be your 30 amp hookup fresh water fills cable hookup and a water heater right underneath that will be your gray water drip for your kitchen sink which we are headed to now, right here on the back side. So the great thing about these is your back door doubles as your awning. So you got a nice awning on the back side. And as you can see there, we have a three, this is actually correction, a three-way refrigerator, microwave, sink with a cutting board cover. You have some more outlets there and then a two burner stove, some storage underneath, and then also some storage up top. As we come back around to the front side, one of the things I forgot to mention is you go up top, you're gonna to see those roof racks. Like I said, that'll allow you to get a rooftop tent and things up there, the kayaks, canoes, whatever uh, you would like to get on there. And now we're gonna head inside. And the great thing about these lightweight trailers is not many too, too many bells and whistles to them. So it makes it nice and easy camping. So as you can see, I got a setup in the bed setup. And that's a nice large bed. Right above there, you'll have your 12 volt uh, USB ports, your thermostat. Above that, you're going to see where you are TV prepped. And then you'll also have a nice fan that is intake outtake. Uh, right across from that, you'll have your side mounted AC. Underneath there, you're going to have some storage. And then you have your plugins light switches, portable Bluetooth speaker that mounts and will charge off your 12 volt, your solar control panel, and then underneath you have your breaker box there to the left with your LP detector. Over here is your heat. And then as you can see, um, you got some storage underneath the bed when you're set up, or it's great for those little pets that maybe you wanna bring along if uh, you didn't wanna grab the pet camp from Sunset Park. <laughs> um, and then, uh, you know, when you switch it to the gaucho setup, you'll be able to sit in there, eat, things like that, get out of the weather, cool off. As we come back outside, you can see that, you know, right with this guy, they're sticking true to camping, keeping it nice, compact, take it anywhere. If you're a hunter or fisher, they're great for uh, hunting camp or fishing camp, going out for the weekend and getting it right next to the lake or right next to your tree stand in that area where you can stay nice and close to what you're trying to do. You don't have to bring the big boys along all the time. I do have a lot of couples coming in now where they're getting something small for the constant long travels, uh, where they're only really going for the weekend or something like that. And then they are taking their big one for when the family's coming along 
and things like that. So it's always a good option to, you know, maybe look into having a couple trailers. I know most people would say that's crazy, um, but I am seeing that trending that you got the big ones for when the family uh, is there and those longer trips when you need the more living space and then going with something small like this um, by Sunset Park that'll allow you to, you know, essentially have a hotel room on wheels and get you to where you're going and uh, having a good time. My name is Mike Sampson of Straw Hat Adventures and today was another travel trailer walk around. I will see you in the next one.